live from London. It's the 2012 Nail Olympics. This year is the best we've had yet. This competition has grown. We were expecting 438 competition seats and we've ended up with over that. And the nail industry has really just seriously taken off worldwide. It's fantastic to see the skill levels that come from all around the world and the passion that they bring with them. We've got at least 24 nations, over 150 competitors taking over 140 competition seats. We're running eight categories over three days. Um, it's an awesome experience, really, to be part of this. Ten minutes remaining. This year, the judging... It's been a meeting of the minds, so to speak. It's a plethora. It's a mixture of judges from an international panel from all over the world. The judging regime is so precise. There's maybe, for one competition, five judges. I've always loved judging those, those competitions. It's been cool getting back to my roots too and judging, you know, acrylic sculpture and getting back to the, the basics of C curves and apexes and lateral folds and shapes and smile lines and it's, it's technical. And the fantasy has blown the judges away today. The intricacy of the work has been phenomenal. We need people to push the boundaries and come up with something above and over the top. What's lovely about the fantasy side is that it's a really artistic medium where you can take your brush skills that you might use in the salon but really go to town with them when it comes to fantasy because you can create anything with liquid and powder. We give trophies and medals to the winners. They like to take the trophies back to their salons. It's great for their businesses to have medals and, and certificates and trophies to show their clients and build their business.